Hey everyone, this is Azuki, and today I'm going to show you a demo of a Max device that I just built that takes any track and splits it into four stems. So I think this is really exciting for the producers, the DJs out there who want to do remixes or do um, mashups of tracks and don't have the stems available because this will let you do that without having to find the stems or get them from the artist, um, etc. But don't do anything illegal and don't break copyright, please. So, <laughs> um, in the link, in the sorry, in the description of this video, I'll drop a link to this Dropbox folder where you can download a beta version of my device. Um, beta meaning that you'll probably run into bugs. You'll probably find it kind of hard to install, maybe. And uh, you should let me know if you have those issues, and I'll try to fix them. But no guarantees if I'll have time. So this is based on a library called Splitter that was released by Deezer earlier this year. It's a, a AI-assisted source separation library, um, and it's pretty cool and all open source. So once you go to Dropbox and download this folder, um, simply unzip it and then go into Ableton and go to this button that says Add Folder and just add it to the places sidebar. Um, now, one thing I should tell you is that this currently involves downloading uh, a program called Docker before you run it. So to download Docker, you can look at these instructions in my folder that say README. Um, it's available on Mac and Windows and also Linux, but I assume everyone here is Mac or Windows. So just go to the link, download it, and then start it. And I've already done that, so you can see it's running up here. Once it is started, you will need to increase the memory to the maximum possible value. So go to Docker, Preferences, or Settings if you're on Windows. Uh, go to Memory and just crank this all the way up. If you have more than 16 gigs available, you probably don't need that, so I would just set it to 16. Um, so once Docker is running and you've set the memory limit, then go back to Ableton, take the device and drop it into any track. So currently I have two tracks that I just kind of randomly picked that are at the same tempo. Uh, one is Bodak Yellow and one is the Super Task track, Get To You. So if you play them together without any kind of filtering, they sound really intense and messy. So um, let's say that we just want the Cardi B rap from this track and everything else from the Super Task track except for the vocals. So what we can do is drop my Max device and highlight any track and then just click start. Um, this is running some fancy neural network machine learning math in the background, which I don't really understand. So it's going to take a while. And while that's happening, you can go and do something else. Do, do, do. Uh, cool. So once that's done, uh, it'll open a dialog which has all of the stems. So just highlight those and then do a command drop to drop these into Ableton. Uh, let's hear what this sounds like, first of all. Let's mute the original tracks. So this is just the bass, just the drums, or I'm sorry, bass plus drums, bass plus drums plus vocal, and other. And, and just the vocal. So that's not too bad. Um, as you can see, the vocal is like a little bit spectral and it seems to have a little bit of leakage, maybe from like the hi hats. But it sounds a lot better than if you were just to take this thing and do a three band EQ on it and just take the highs out. Um, and so now let's do that for our second track. Click start. Wait for it to finish. Oh, by the way, if you have Docker installed and have used it, 
before. Um, you can do Docker stats to kind of see what's going on in the container while this is running. Um, you'll see like as this program runs, like the memory usage goes up and then starts to go down when it finishes. Cool. So now let's take the Thodak yellow, Frax, and drop them. Cool, cool. Um, so now we have all our stems. Let's say we just wanted to take the bass, the drums, and other from the first track and just the vocal from the second track. Let's see what that sounds like. Sorry, my computer is pretty small screen. So yeah, I could definitely use some work, but um, as you can see, it's a lot cleaner than what I played for you at the beginning, which was the tracks just layered over each other. Um, yeah, and uh, I, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any suggestions or ideas for how this can be packaged better.